Welcome to GoVM Lab, India's first job-ready VMware learning platform where professionals meet experts to revolutionize their VMware careers. Hello everyone. Welcome to GoVM Lab, VMware vSphere Advanced Networking Lecture Series. In this lecture, we are going to learn about one of the very powerful troubleshooting command called NetDVS. NetDVS command is used to display configuration information of our vSphere distributed switch and this command gets really handy when debugging or troubleshooting vSphere distributed switch related issues. So now let's get started with our distributed switch and let's explore our NetDVS command. As you could see that we are logged into our vCenter server named as savcsa01.govmlab.local. Now let's go and browse our vCenter server and we do see that we have a data center created named as SA data center. Let's go and browse our data center. Within that data center, we do see a cluster created named as SA cluster. And within that cluster, we do see that we have a three ESXi host added to this cluster. And there are a bunch of VMs which are running on that cluster. So that's how our vSphere environment looks like. Now let's go and have a quick review of our distributed switch configurations. Click here to browse our vCenter server. Click here to browse our data center. And we do see that we have a distributed switch created named as VDS site A. Click here to browse our distributed switch. And we do see that there are two port groups created on our distributed switch. The first port group named as DVPG VM network, which is created for our virtual machine traffic. And the second DVPG is our well-defined uplink port group. So now let's click on our distributed switch, click on host. And if you do see that out of three ESXi host, there are, there are only two ESXi host, which are part of this distributed switch. And if you click on VMs, you do see that all of these VMs are part of VDS site, a distributed switch. Now, if you click on networks, you will see that that's our distributed port group like what we have discussed. So that's our DVPG VM network. And if you click on uplink port group, that's where you will see our DV uplink port group of our distributed switch. So now let's do one thing. Let's go and create a new distributed switch on our vCenter environment. So for doing that, click on this data center, right click on that data center. That's where we have an option distributed switch. Click on new distributed switch and let's give a name as VDS site B. Now click on next. And if you do see that it actually asked us to specify a version. So now let's go and specify a version as ESXi 6.7 in later. And if you want to see the version, if you want to see the features supported by this version, click on this icon and you will find that there are new feature and enhancements which has went in in respective distributed switch versioning as you rightly see it here. Now click here to cancel. Click on next. Now here it asks for number of uplinks like how many uplinks we would like to get assigned to this distributed switch. So as of now we are OK with the two uplinks. So let's give a number of uplink value as two. Do we want to enable network IO control? So by default network IO control is enabled. Now the next is default port group. So do we want to create a default port group on our distributed switch? Yes, we want to create a default port group and let's give a name as DVPG production. So that's the port group is going to get created as a default port group on our distributed switch. Click on next and that's where we can review our distributed switch configuration. So that's the name of our distributed switch as you rightly see it here. VDS site B is the name of our distributed switch. VDS site B is the name of our distributed switch. That's the version of our distributed switch. Number of uplinks are two. Network IO control is enabled and we are going to get a distributed port group which is named as DVPG production. Now the next step it actually recommend us saying that we have to go and add a host to our distributed switch and we can create as many distributed port groups as we wanted based on our business requirement. So click on finish. As you could see that a new distributed switch with the name VDS site B has been created successfully. Let's go and browse our distributed switch and you do see that 
there is a put group what we have created as a default put group got created on our distributed switch as a part of distributed switch creation itself and then we do see a well defined uplink put group as well so click on our vds site b and you do see that there are two networks what has been created but if you might have noticed that there are no hosts which are assigned to this particular distributed switch and there is no active virtual machine or there is no virtual machine which is actually connected to this distributed switch and if you do see that the number of ports this distributed switch is having is eight so now let's click on host to verify that and look at that there is no host which is being currently managed by this distributed switch if you click on vms we don't see any vms which is actually connected to this distributed switch and if you click on network you will just find dvpg production as a distributed port group and if you click on uplink port group you will find dv uplink port group what we had seen it here so now let's do one thing let's go and add our third esxi host to this distributed switch now before we go and add our third esxi host to this distributed switch let's log in to our esxi host which is we are going to add to this distributed switch and let's see that do we see any distributed port related information or distributed switch configuration information on that specific host so now let's open the putty session and as you do see that we are logged into our host named as saesxi03 so this is the host we are going to get add to our distributed switch what we had created now before we go and add this host to our distributed switch let's run the command net hyphen dvs hyphen l press enter key and look at that if you do see that as of now we don't see any distributed switch related configuration information on our esxi host and the reason is very obvious because this host is not being managed by our distributed switch so now we will come back to this command again after adding this host to our distributed switch so now Thank you for watching this video. If you want to continue watch this lecture, then join our exclusive YouTube membership program only at the price of 299 rupees INR per month and unlock your VMware potential with GoVM Lab. With this membership program, you can unlock all of our members only content published on our YouTube channel. You can watch out the videos presented on your screen to know the benefits of GoVM Lab subscription as well as the membership program. Thank you.